Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, JT Open Stuff. Today, guys, we're going to open up a couple more of the clearance mystery packs I got at my local Target. I've opened up a couple on the channel already, and today I'm going to open up these Wild Vibes Zombies Forever. As you can see, there are 15 to collect. Very colorful packaging, very cool looking, like a little cartoon scene almost little coffin shaped box that they're in. These were at my local Target for $2 each, $1.99 to be precise. So I picked up the last two that were on the shelf and I thought, hey, open them up for you guys. So if you like these, you might be able to find them at your Target. Maybe they're clearing some out at yours as well. So let's get right into it with this first package. And we're gonna see, we're just gonna pop this part. Oh, you know what? Let's follow our instructions here. <laughs> and that then slides right out of there. Very cool looking. See, it's kind of embossed with the zombies forever. And then this just kind of pops off. Looks like we do have a little pamphlet here. Let's take a real quick look at that. Oh, there you go. Shows all the figures that you can get. Keep the party alive, overbearing, she's got bite, hungry for knowledge, curiosity killed the cat, she's wild, she's electric, caught in her web, losing sleep, a rare called spacing out, hanging around, She's buzzing, and she's crabby. Uh, and one more, so chill. So I guess we'll be looking for that spacing out rare to see if we can get that, maybe score a, a bargain out of our markdown haul. So looks like the next thing, I don't wanna uncover that just yet. Next thing, looks like a little set of stickers. So very neat. Then we move this. Okay, let's see here. Oh, so maybe there's something inside this? Feels like there could be something inside of it. Huh. That definitely had a tear strip. So what is in here? Oh, there we go. We got She's Wild. <laughs> and then this goes right into the top of the little coffin case. So that's very cute. Let's see. Yeah, we can get the rest of that yellow off there. Very neat. So you have like a little display piece. That is a cool little card. So now we know who we got. Let's go ahead. Oh, check the artwork on the inside of that out. Now that is neat. Very colorful, very cool. Legal North American spinmaster.com legal stuff there. And looks like it's a zipper. And there it is. The She's Wild. Whoa, look at that. Kind of crazy looking hair. But what a cute little doll. Looks like there's articulation of the legs. The arms go up and down and back and forth. They hit, oh, whoa. And you can see her brains. Now that is crazy looking. Look at those eyelashes. Wow. So lots of articulation and That hair is really heavy, so when it's on there, she's a heavy little, heavy little doll. So very, very neat looking. I definitely say that's worth the dollar ninety-nine we've spent on these. Now let's see what's in the second package. I'm sure these are some sort of accessories, but let's find out what we got. This would be cool little tissue paper to reuse some for something else, maybe. Okay. So this is a teeny tiny little piece. But it looks like 
it could fit right around her. We'll take her hair off right now while we're trying to... I think that this is meant to be... There you go. Like a little necklace. Um, let's see. She also has this little... This little fella who looks like he wants to hold on to her. There you go. He's holding on for dear life. That's cute. And let's see. She's also got a little skirt. So here, you know what? We'll put the skirt on before we put that little guy on there. Just kind of fit it right over her feet. Now, you can see it has a little split there, so hopefully it'll go up there fairly easily. But I'm having a little bit of difficulty with getting that one to slide on up there. Let's see, this might do it. Here, you know what? We'll put it up like that, and then we'll just turn it right side out. There we go. Very cool. And then we'll put this little guy, we'll have him hanging back on again, because I like that. He's just hugging on there like that. And we'll put her hair back on so her brain doesn't get cold. <laughs> it does pop on and off of her head pretty easily. I will say that. It's so heavy that it just kind of falls backwards. But there's also a little doll stand here. So this looks like it goes just like this. Hmm, let's see. There we go. So there is a little doll stand. So that would definitely help with her standing up and not falling over with her heavy hair. Put the doll stand on one side. See if we can put this little guy back on there. I'm going to tell you what, guys. I really think this is super cute. We can put it just like so. Well, we'll turn that on the other side. Very nice. All right. Well, that was a great first pull. So we're going to put her right over there. Whoa, her little coffin opened up. And we're going to get into the second one. This time we're going to rip the direction that it says to rip in. <laughs> or if we'll start on this side. Yeah, we'll start on this side and rip down. Okay, and then we'll rip down. Okay, and then this paper just kind of comes off there, like so. Again, we'll take the, whoa, it's fallen all, all over the place this time. So let's put that right down there and we'll see. Again, we have a little pamphlet, we'll put that on the side. Now, we'll wait to open this up so we don't spoil who's in the package this time. So this time, I'm gonna reach right in and we're gonna grab the, the figure itself. Whoa, that is a creepy looking girl. Like she really does kind of look zombie-ish. I don't know if her hair, oh, her hair pops off too. Brains, brains. <laughs> but she definitely is way cuter with her, with her hair on there. All right. And now that we've done that, let's go ahead and get into this and see what her card looks like. Let's see. That really did not open it up well enough for me, so we'll rip one more time. There we go. And this is overbearing. <laughs> now that is a cute little card, as you can see on the back. Cute little decorations. And we'll put this in her little coffin lid. 
Now that coffin lid actually had a little split, so it's not gonna fit back on there really well, but it's there if we want it. And then a cute little batch of stickers here. So very neat. Put that back on there. And then let's see who, or what I should say, overbearings accessories are. So she comes with a doll stand as well. Let's go ahead and see if we can pop that doll stand. There we go, right in there. So her doll stand is ready to go. And her other accessories are all right here. <laughs> she does come with a little bear. Looks like she comes with what appears to be a little hat. <laughs> Don't want to mess up those eyelashes though. Kind of reminds me a little of Frankie Stein a little bit. My daughter really, really was a huge fan of Monster High when she was little. This definitely reminds me of a Frankie Stein, but all right, let's see if I can have better luck getting this little cape. Not really cape. I don't know what this is. Is it a cape? Nope. It's supposed to be like a sweater tied around her waist. So you know what? We'll pop her hair off because that did help last time with the other zombie. And we're going to push that right up there as such. Turn it right side out. And there we go. Hey, we did it. All right, let's pop her hair back on again. We don't want to get a, a brain cold. And let's put her little stand on her here. It's kind of hard to put her stand on her from behind with her with her hair, but she is super cute. And then this little bear, let's see if he turns his head. Nope, he does not turn his head. So maybe we need to do the stand from that side. That way we could do the little bear from this side. Guys, this, is, this one is really super, super cute. What do you guys think? I definitely, definitely get why these are so popular. I really enjoyed opening it for you today. And until the next one, this is JT Open Stuff. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I really enjoy opening up toys for you. Look at your target for these Markdown Zombies. I hope you find some, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.